Hi, I'm George, TSG's HPI Product Manager. In this short demo, I'm going to overview TSG's engineering doc management solution. So the first thing I want to show here is that I can uh, search for template folders. And if I just search for, say, a mechanical template folder for mechanical projects, uh, I can go ahead and view this uh, template folder. And what we can see is that uh, certain users have the ability to create and manage these template folders and can upload um, initial documents that should be created for all uh, projects of this uh, type. So we can upload additional documents or modify these over time, however we need to, um, to make sure that new projects are set up properly. So what I'm going to do here is um, anywhere within the application, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new project folder. Um, so here I can, uh, we can configure what uh, attributes we make the user choose when they're creating a, a project folder, but here we just set up that we want to set the client and the project type. I'll just set the mechanical and I'll just give it a project number as well. So we can go ahead and create the folder. Um, now this is not only going to create the folder, but it's also pulled in the contents from the latest template folder. So I have those drawings and the procedure and instructional document pulled in from the template. So we can take a look at that and we can also see that the documents start off in draft with a draft overlay. Um, so what I'm going to show here is working with a simple document. I'm just going to go ahead and check it out. So we can check out this document. And I'm going to go ahead and edit the document. And I'm just going to go ahead here and in the header, I'm just going to add the, the project number. So now I'm going to go ahead and check in the document. And drag in the updated copy and check it in. So there's my updated content. Uh, I may also want to change the properties of the document. So I can go in here and let's say we just want to add the uh, project number here as well. And maybe we want to get rid of this for this particular project. Go ahead and submit. And now the document's been updated there as well. So there's a few options here for finalizing the document. Some, docu some clients might send this document on a workflow. Some clients may even integrate with the Active Wizard. Um, we're just going to take a simple example here and um, show manually setting this document uh, up. So certain users may have the ability in the properties section uh, to change the document status. So we could send it, we could say it's now in the review status or potentially even in the release status. So if I go ahead and just change this to the release status, a uh, couple things will happen. Uh, the first is we can see the overlay change to released. Um, and we also have the document shows up in this released folder here within the project, just as sort of a simple way to see all of the release documents in this project. Another nice feature that HPI enables is the ability to show related folders. So we can see here that we can also see related folders based on the client. There's a lot of ways that we can configure this in HPI. This is just one example. Um, so I'm seeing two other projects that are, uh, that are tagged with the TSG client. So I could go in and take a look at this TSG electrical project and maybe peruse the uh, release documentation and view it directly from here without losing my context on the, uh, on the project that I'm working on. Well, that's it for this short demo. If you have additional questions, please check out our website at tsgrp.com.